Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. And welcome back to another morning devotion with HEDM. My name is Brother David. And today my topic to you guys is come boldly to the throne that you may obtain, obtain mercy and find grace. That is a nice um, pro topic that we have to talk about because um, sometimes we find ourselves um, not be able to come to somebody for help or seek help. And this topic here kind of helps us to, you know, come out of that. I hope I encourage you today with um, what I have to say to you guys. And I hope that you are willing to receive um, what I may have to say to you guys today and share the information to some brethren or anything like that that you pass along the way um continue to share with one another so like i said the topic is come boldly to the throne that you may obtain mercy and find grace and you could find that um that topic itself the scripture um uh, in hebrews 4 verse 16 you could find that there and that topic uh, um, this is a one that's is um resonates with me a little more. I can say because um I'm the type of individual who doesn't like seek out help. I internalize a lot and I keep things to myself, and so this topic kind of like helped me as well in talking to you guys about it because. Um, it's important that if we seek help, we can find help and there's help out there because we are not the only person going through what we are going through. So, yeah, um, this this topic here, um, it's a uh, actually it's something that should encourage you because it's um a topic that's giving you. A permission, I would say. Can I say permission? Yeah, I would say a permission to come to me for help. Come to me and lay whatever you have at my throne. It's boldly do it. And the boldly here in this statement is very important. Because the boldly, to me, means confidence. So it means be, be confident coming to the throne. So I would say... If you want to re, um, rephrase the topic for you, I would think it would say, come confidently to the throne that you may obtain mercy and find grace. And to be confident, you have to like, have to know that what you are seeking help for, it will be answered. It will, you would get the help. You would because you are on a mission now to receive help. You are going through something. Whatever it is, you know, we go through our own individual problems. Our, sometimes even our people that we talk to on the job or a rest around us have problems that they have vented on to you. And you have a lot on your plate. And God is telling you, come and leave it with me. Leave it with me. Whatever you have, leave it with me. Get, get get your your overwhelming issues off get your relief get grace and some people may know may not know what grace is but it's this is definitely something that you should be like rushing to get and i just took the most simplest form of the definition of grace and I, I don't say simplest form, but this like a, a child can understand it because this is our YouTube devotion. And a little child could be watching this. And the grace that I chose to talk to you guys, to well, define to you guys is God's favor or his help. And it's a divine means of help. Um, It is a p significant help. It is powerful. God is telling you, come to me. Come. Lay it on me. Whatever it is, don't be afraid. I'm encouraging you. I can handle it. The God that I am, it's whatever you're going through, 
it ain't nothing for me. I can handle it. And you have the permission. You have the permission to bring it to my throne. Have your mercy, have your grace, have your power restored to you, restored to you because I am God and I can handle whatever you have. It don't matter what it is. It don't matter what your partner, whatever, just vented on you. If it is too much for you, I am telling you, I'm encouraging you. Come here and lay it down on me. Whatever it is, I'm here. And sometimes if you don't, have the power or the or the strength. Let me say the strength. That's a better, way better word. The strength. Sometimes we are feeling weak. This is a a weak. Um, this is when you're weak or you are overwhelmed or something like that. And know you're going through something and you just want to let go. Let it go. God is telling you let it go. And then and sometimes we seek out help from others. You know, but they can't, we think that they can't help us. We feel that they can't help us. So we don't, you know, take the opportunity or the chance that they give us for assistance. And if you look at it, sometimes it may not be God physically saying, let it down on the throne. Sometimes God is sending somebody that help that you desire He's sending it from whatever angel, whatever angel, I could call them an angel what, at that time, whatever the person, it might be the angel. It might not be a physical, but that person is an angel in the physical form. He might be sending somebody, a friend, family, a random stranger. You may not understand, but God knows what he's doing. He's saying, all right, let go, vent on that person. Let that, that is where you're going to receive your restoration your refreshing love, your refreshing strength, your 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 release of your issues that you're going through. Some people are going through issues that we can't even understand, and they just need that release. And God is saying, I ha- "I'm I'm telling you, it's okay. Put it on my throne. Let that individual talk to somebody." I'm sending that help. Recognize that I'm sending help. Recognize I'm telling you help. The help you want, I can handle it. Give it to me. And you be encouraged that my God that I love, he has a throne where ans- where your prayers can be answered. Your supplications can be brought to him. He has a throne where, where you drop it on him You could just drop it and don't have to worry about it because he is the king of kings. He is the provider. He is the answer maker. He's the miracle working God. He's the man with all of the answers. The problems that you already think that is not be able to answer. He already has the answer for it. He just waiting for you to come to him. And he's uh, telling you that it's okay. Come to me. And I want you to come to me. And I'm given grace and mercy. The God that we, the God I serve, is amazing. He He grants us grace. We don't even deserve it. Sometimes we don't even feel like we deserve it. Some, we don't deserve it, but God is so divine and so loving, so compassionate. He just gives us grace. And the thing about a gift from a gift of grace from God is free. It is free. Our people, we love free stuff. We love things. We have something free. Oh, let me go and get it. It's free. It's free. It's free. God has given you grace for free. Are you willing to pick it up or let it go? As I love you, let me give you a little ending prayer. Because I wanted you guys to be able to get a prayer from this as well. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for allowing the people to tune in today. Thank you for those people that those ears that are here today that we were to tune in wherever time they tuned in morning, even or night. We are happy that they're tuned in and that they are enjoying the content for the Lord, that you are the king of kings and you are the Lord of lords, that your grace is sufficient to keep us all, that your grace is sufficient to keep us all, that you are calling us one by one 
collectively as well to come to your throne where grace can be be given unto us and mercy and love is at your throne that you are you are God and God alone but you are still calling us you don't even need us but you are God and you are calling us to allow us to give you our problems and that you would take care of it for us because you are God and nothing that you do cannot be handled. I want to thank you for the Lord for this opportunity for another morning devotion for another time to um, encourage someone. I, I am so happy about these in morning devotions that we were to come and encourage one another. Um, Father, I want to thank you for hearing my prayer that somebody be able to be encouraged today, that they will come again and that they will continue to love um, one another, continue to be understand that you are God and that they're not going through their issues alone. They're not the only one who went through it. Somebody else already did. So there is a solution. They just have to ask and they will receive. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, Father Lord. Amen. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Um, return again and invite a friend to morning devotion. Share it. You know, we want we are greatly appreciated of everyone that is he, um tuning in. We see your comments, we see your love, and I'm sending out more love to you guys. Love you guys. Thank you. And again, come on in. Tomorrow's devotion is much better than mine's. It's much better than mine's. Tune in for that one. I love you. And affect somebody with the love of God.